Welcome everyone to Mets Baseball Recap for May 19th, 2021. The Mets, and we start with a down because the Mets lost to the Atlanta Braves 4-5. Um, we got a lot to cover. Um, we definitely have a lot to cover. But we're going to start things off with Jonathan VR hitting his fourth home run of the season, giving the Mets an early 1-0 lead in the fourth. So that gets an up. Um... We are going to get Peterson a down. Uh, Peterson only lasted four and two thirds inning. He lost control in that fifth inning, and with two outs, he just started giving up. He gave up a bunch of runs with wild pitches and walks and hit by pitches, and he was pulled out and saved basically. And the Mets will no at this point now one and three, um, but the Mets would strike back in the seventh inning. Uh, Peraza would double in, so we got to give Peraza a, 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 a positive here for, for driving in a run, Cut them, cutting the lead 2-3. to three. We got to give Nimmo uh, an up. He pinched hit and gave the Mets a lead at this point, uh, making it 4-3 to three with a single, driving in two runs. Um, but then we got to go back to the negatives as uh, Luke just could not hold it, gave up three hits. And uh, gave up the lead. Uh, no, he didn't give up the lead. He gave up the lead. The game was tied. 4-4 at this point. Um, and I think Barnes came in. He saved them out. And unfortunately, the Mets could not come back. Um, and the Mets will end up losing this game. So I don't know. We can't give Barnes a plus and a negative. Because he got a plus for getting that out of us out of that inning. Because that was going to be a disaster inning. But then he gave up a home run to the first batter he faced in the ninth inning. And um, so, you know what? We'll get the negative to the overworked bullpen. Um, this bullpen has been taxed the last couple of days. The fact that the Mets only have uh, basically two starters at the moment, Peterson and and, um, and Strowman is your only starters. You know, with um, Walker going to the IL. Uh, tomorrow, the ground pitching for the... Uh, for you know, minor league baseball to rehab start, you know the Mets need pitching right now, um, and we barely have anything. So uh, I don't know who I gotta talk to, who I gotta tweet, but they need to bring a starter up. Uh, this is not a, this is no longer a situation where we're gonna keep playing the bullpen and taxing the bullpen. You're not gonna win games this way. Um, but we got some additional downs to give, so. Lindor gets a down. He went 0 for 4. Uh, Maybin, who just, you know, came up for the Mets, um, he's getting a down. He went 0 for 4. He did get on base at the ninth inning. He ended up stealing second base and then getting to third um, on a wild pitch. But the honest truth is he should have been still second. And then he was at third base with less than two outs. And unfortunately, McCann, who's also going to get a, a, a down for being 0 for 4 or 3. Uh, he did throw our runner, so we you know, we got to give him a little bit of credit there. Um, but we're going to give him another down because he should have driven that run in the ninth inning. All you needed was a fly ball, and he pops it up to third base. This not cutting it. And I'm sorry, I said it already plenty of times. Niddle should be playing more. And he has been proving that he can hit the ball. So let's play Nitto. Let's go. On Friday's game, I want to see Nitto starting. I don't want to see McCann starting. Um, no, and then, no, we got some of the replacement players who we're going to get some downs to. Uh, Fargus over for 2. He got you know, a pinch hit for later in the game. Uh, we're going to give a... a, a um, we're going to give a... Uh, we're going to do something. We're going to give three negatives... To Lee, who has struck out every single at bat that he has had, he finally made contact. He finally fouled off a ball, which I don't really know how he did it. it, it the swing he did doesn't look like it, it made contact, but somehow he fouled the ball off. But uh, he can't hit. He he can't hit. And he he just can't hit. <laughs> and then of course uh, the last person was Hager, who came in. He was over two. The Mets only had four hits today. With 13 strikeouts and the magic number of negatives is 13. I think this is just neck. It just adds up perfectly. <sighs> it is what it is, guys. Um, the Mets, you know, like I said, 
The Mets have a lot of work on uh, ahead of themselves. Tomorrow, the Mets are off. And uh, my dad was going, how, how do they expect the Mets to catch up when they're always off? But, it, you know, it is what it is. The Mets will travel to Miami to take on the Miami Marlins at 7-10. Uh, I think tomorrow's game, I don't know who's pitching. I don't know who's pitching Friday. I think Saturday is Strowman. But who's pitching Friday? I, I, this is terrible. This is so bad. Uh, the Mets fall to 20-17, and 17, three games over 500. And, um, no, we got to cheer. Listen, I, I, as much as I uh, complain, and I complain a lot, because I don't like certain things in the team. I've said it very straight from the very beginning. Um, we need pitching. We need pitching desperately. And I don't know what they're waiting for. At this point, I, I will take anyone to come pitch a start to start the game and give the bullpen some breathing room. Because the fact is, like I said, you can't win. You can't continue to believe you're going to win this way if this is how you're playing baseball. It's just as simple as that. Guys, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I hope you guys uh, are having a good day. I will be back Friday night for Mets Baseball Recap. So take care and uh, enjoy tomorrow's day off.